This video will demonstrate how to shade oceans and set up the material for both the ocean water and foam. How the ocean floor geometry is generated is covered in a previous video and this video will mainly focus on only the shading ocean floor and setting up the material. A link for the previous video will be posted in the description. So if you want to recreate these two ocean effects on screen, feel free to check out that video. For the ocean floor, I created a material for it. So let's go there. Now this is a very simple material. In fact, it's still locked. I basically just dropped down a redshift material, changed the preset to water, and I believe I changed the color as well. I changed the overall tint color and I played around with some of these values until I got the look I liked. Then I linked it to the ocean floor in order for it to look like this. So this is what it looks, this is what the ocean floor looks like with that material, which isn't bad. There is something you need to be aware of when generating uh, when rendering for water. So I'm just going to turn off the phone for now. And in the dome, I'm going to turn this off. So I'm not going to use this dome light. I want to use a default dome light. To show you what it looks like, just default rendering. Everyone is fine. So it doesn't render very well with just the dome light. When you're rendering water, you need really good lighting. You need high contrast lighting. So let's delete this. Let's go back to the original one I had. Turn this back on. You can go to hdrihaven.com and they provide a lot of free HDRIs for you to use. They also have a very convenient uh, high contrast search filter. So you can search for high contrast light there. After you load in the HDR, you can rotate it to find the best uh, lighting condition. So by rotating it just a bit, I get more reflection here, which may or may not the look that you want. You also need to be aware when rendering water, there it might be a good idea to have something underneath. So all this is, is just a grid on the bottom. And this grid has a material. This material is just black. So this is what it looks like without the ocean bottom. And when you put it in, you'll start to see the reflections and the and the color of the ocean. That's because this ocean floor, this material here, which is the redshift uh, preset water material, has uh, sorry, has a lot of translucency. And to really illustrate that, I'm gonna take. I turned off the ocean floor. I rendered out the ocean floor without the bottom and I'm gonna load it up in Photoshop.
You can see the alpha channel. It's, it's very translucent. So this is the ocean floor. This is this being rendered out without the floor. So we didn't render the floor out. I had the render flag turned off. This. Which is this. So you can actually... It, it's equivalent to adding a background. In order to render the foam, go to your redshift tab, go to the particles, and check this. Oops. This will make the particles render out larger or smaller. The default value is 1, which was really big for me. I like the small uh, particle foam. Now for the ocean floor, there's a little bit more to this material. <laughs> As mentioned before, the ocean floor node will generate the foam particles along with uh, attributes that you can use. The age, the life, the p-scale. Now I used, the p-scale isn't very useful in this case because it's... Uh, I didn't randomize the size much. I use the life point attribute. So which you can access that by going to points and dropping this down and then putting life. Just type in the name of the attribute right here. Then you want to fit this life because the life attribute values range from 1.2 to 0 0.2 but you need it from 0 to 1 for for coloring purposes now i'm just going to show you just out of the box the life value and feed it into the surface to see how it looks like. Which is pretty decent. But it wasn't the effect that I was looking for because I wanted the one the particles that are about to die out to blend more with the water. So let's hook that back up. So that's why I do have a math range to fit the life values to a zero to one uh, range. Then I can use this ramp more appropriately. So the ones that are uh, near the zero, zero life, so they're about to die, or they're almost sorry, uh, the zero life, they're almost being born to blend with the water. And then it gets, a, as it lives longer, it gets more brighter white. And I take this color ramp and I feed it into the translucent color and the reflection color. Now, if you just want to see the foam, for debugging purposes or maybe you just want to do a quick render you can just drop down a color like a white color probably best because foam is white and just plug it into the surface that'll give you pretty good results as well but it won't give you that reflection you can see that we've lost the reflection so that's all i did to set up the foam material this video mainly focused on ocean shading and materials for rendering. If you want to see how I generated the ocean geometry used for shading, that's covered in a different video.
but it's a very basic overview on how I use Houdini's Ocean modes and it's meant for beginners. A link for that video will be posted in the description. And the video will be titled, How to Generate Oceans in Houdini for Beginners.